my little creatives and welcome back to another episode of Drawfully Fun. Draw with me. Spooktober part two. That's right. We're jumping into part two of our Spooktober series. We're going on an adventure with a little vampire duck. That's right. We've turned a duck into a vampire. <laughs> so we're going to have some fun with this. But before we jump into the drawing, I do want to ask you all a quick question. Besides, how are you? Is everybody good? You doing well? I hope you all have been creative this week. <laughs> I want to know if you guys would be interested in seeing digital art tutorials. I do a lot of digital art and I've been posting some shorts recently of some of those digital art processes, including the duck. And I would like to know if you guys want to see tutorials of me doing them in Clip Studio Paint. So if you do, leave me a comment in the comments below. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions. After all, I want you guys to decide what is on this channel. You guys are subscribed for a reason. What do you want to see? <laughs> Alright guys, let's get started. Let's jump right in. Waste no more time. I got my Sharpie here. Let's get started. All right, so today we're not starting with the eyes. We are starting with the beak first. And the beak is going to look like a sleeping eye mask. <laughs> it's, trust me. Trust the process. Trust the process. <laughs> we're going to do the little hills. I guess you can say little hills on the bottom of that little sleeping mask. And then we're going to come all the way around. Keep on going and make it look like a jelly bean. Big rainbow curve like that. See how it looks like a little sleeping mask? Super cute, super cute. Now the reason I wanted to do my beak first over here is because I want to do the eyes right underneath this baseline or right on this baseline. So we're going to come out here right where the hills came up over to this rainbow curve and start with the lower part of our eye, a little curve to the right. We can do the same thing over here. Let's do them both at the same time. One to the left. And I'm going to come over here and do a top layer, which is going to be the eyelashes of the eye. So right here, we're going to make a big moon shaped curve, bring it around to this section here like so. And then we want to make it nice and thick. So we're going to come around, do the same thing and then bring it down nice and thick. And then you can color that in all dark. Voila, Ooh, missed a spot. There we go. So nice and dark, nice and dark. Let's do the same thing over here. We'll come up from this side this way, up and around into the front, about right where we left off on that one. And then make it nice and big again and nice and thick. I don't know why my left side always comes out better than my right. Do you guys have that problem? Right-handed folks, do you guys have that problem where this side always usually comes out better? Or does your right side usually come out better? Same thing with left-handed folks. What do you favor? <laughs> I don't know why my left side just seems to always come out better. What is that? <laughs> All right, let's do our eyeball. So right here, we're going to come around and do a big curve. Create the shape of our eyeball. Same thing over here. Just bring it around. Big old circles. Same thing on the right. Big curve all the way around. Voila. All right. Let's do sparkles. So I want to make two sparkles on each eye. So we're going to make a big one right here on the top. A little one right here on the corner. Same thing over here. Big one on top. Little one on the corner. And then we're going to put a big pupil going right behind these sparkles. Kind of go underneath where you think it would go here. And then just color in that pupil. Nice and dark. Here at Drawfully Fun, we never leave our pupils open, right? It's too creepy. Way too creepy. I know it's creepy season, but I am not going to do it. No. Big sparkles or big pupil going all the way around those sparkles. Nope. Like that. And color it, color it, color it. There you go. Looking good. He looks angry already. He kind of works a little bit in his favor. It might kind of makes him look like he's raising his eyebrow just a tad bit over here, giving you that weird look. <laughs> Let's do the nose, little nostrils, or the beak nostrils. Two little circles right inside that little mask. And then we're going to come down and do the little fangs of our beak. He is a vampire bat after all, so he's got to have fangs, right? So right here on each little hill that you created or a little dip that you created, go ahead and do two little triangles. Ooh, this one's not so sharp. I'm telling you, I have something going on with the right side, y'all. It's not working on the right side. <laughs> My left side is doing better today. My goodness. 
let's do the mouth right here so let's come down here right next to where your fangs are and just bring around a little curve like so and then bring it back down from here another little curve yep. and then we're gonna do a tongue right in the center Bloop. easy peasy lemon squeezy right look at that adorable so far now before we can do the shape of the head I want to do the hat this big old top hat right here so we're gonna make a really big smiley face curve right on top of the head so wherever you want your hat to be placed if you want it to be straight up you're gonna do the smiley face curve completely in the center but if you want to tilt your hat a little bit then try to angle out your smiley face curve however you want your hat to go so for me I want it on a very slight angle so I'm gonna come over here and make a big happy face go all the way across the eyes right there continue on all the way up like that so it's on a slight angle going upwards to the right and then we're gonna bring these two little sections here into little hooks Boop. one and two so it looks like a little smiling almost clown face as if that's not spooky enough no I will not be doing a clown <laughs> don't like clowns no don't want it so let's do the rest of this vampire I'd rather have vampires than clowns uh-uh no 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 let's do the ribbon or the sash that is around the top hat here so we're gonna make it look like it's nice and wavy on each corner just like I usually do with my scarves if you've ever seen any of my drawings with scarves and then we're gonna come around on the top connect it all the way around and on the bottom same thing connect it all the way to the end Oh, there you go and we're gonna go all the way up now I like to flare my hat out just ever so slightly to the right and the left ever so slightly I don't want it straight straight up I like to have a little bit of a flare and then we're gonna close it out with just a very basic oval nice and skinny like this there you go so we make a skinny oval we don't want to make a big circle like this because that would make it look like the flat side of the hat is facing us so the skinnier the hat top the more it looks like it's actually facing upwards rather than towards us if you catch my drift if I made any sense if I didn't sorry <laughs> let's go ahead and do the feathers that are off to the side of the head here so we're gonna have two triangles coming down from the hat right here bring this down to one triangle and then number two mm -hmm. like so and then we just curve this into a little cheek line adorable look at that now I'm not bringing it all the way in because we are gonna have a big bow here right in the center so let's do the same thing on this side from the hat bring it down triangle number one all right triangle number two and then we make a big cheek curve like that and again I'm not bringing it all the way in so right here where we did leave this section off let's go ahead and draw that big bow I want my bow to look like it's got a lot of bends and twists and it's been tied really really well so the center part is not going to be just a basic circle now if you do want to do a basic circle go for it you could just come in and do the center and do bows just like you normally do Today I'm going to make little curves, little folds in the knot, so it looks a little bit more like a knot all the way around. Just like if you were drawing a bubble H letter, <laughs> that's how you do bubble letters. So it looks like a letter H, all right, just like that. And then the curves are going to look like little butterfly wings going off to the back. So big, 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 big bubble, close out that little section by the cheek. And then bring it all the way back up actually it looks more like a heart more like a heart but also like a butterfly same thing on the left bring it up close out this little section here and if you didn't quite make it that's fine you can just come here and close out any little gaps and then bring it around Bloop. and you got yourself a cute little bow let's make a little bit of details to make it look like this little section has some folds into it and then when we color this we can add some more shadows and highlights to really give it the feel of really folded all right so now that we have our bow I'm gonna add a tiny little chin line here that I forgot to add and I also want to add an eyebrow as you can see I forgot the eyebrow yet again why do I do that I don't know I just don't want to put eyebrows sometimes and I forget 
All right, let's do the rest of the bow that's coming upwards here. So just like we did these little curves, I'm going to actually add two little lines going in here. I just realized I didn't do that. There we go. So just like I did these little swirls, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Make little swirls and then bring it in to the center of the bow right there. Same thing over here. About little curve. And right in. You can make tiny little indent marks right there in the corner just to show that it's like a scarf being folded around all right all right look at us we are moving along pretty quickly today this is awesome we're gonna do the inner belly curve first and it's gonna be full of feathers so this is not the outer belly this is the inner belly we're gonna come here from just be next to the bow and make triangles one two and then curve it inwards Bloop three so two triangles and then a small little curve going inwards same thing over here come from the sash down into one triangle and then we're gonna I'm actually gonna do a little bit more on this one maybe three and close it out right now I'm not closing it out actually when I color this you're gonna see that the outside of the ducks body is gonna be a darker color versus here and my color is gonna end up closing this section out but if you want to you can close it out feel free it's up to you all right let's go ahead and do the body so from just next to that come down and make a little curve Boop. but we're gonna stop right here because I want to have a little foot right here kind of like if he's sitting down with his feet looking at us same thing over here let's bring this down a little body curve Boop. like that and let's do those little webbed feet so we're gonna have three little hills popping upwards Let's start from this side since we know where our closure is. So from about, about right here, I'm going to bring this up and then make three little hills. One, two, three. See how it's a webbed foot? And then we want to bring this line and connect it to this with a really big happy face curve. All the way up. And there you go. You got yourself a webbed foot. Let's do the same thing on this one. So same concept. Bring it up into a hill. One two three and then bring it into a big happy face curve a big bubble going around and there you go super super cute let's do the little curve of the belly all the way around the bottom nothing fancy it's just a big smiley face curve and now comes all the details so we have a duck with no wings <laughs> it's a wingless duck right now one wing is going to be out to the right holding on to a lollipop and then the other wing is actually going to be hidden a little bit inside, just tucked under the cape that he is wearing. It is Count Ducula after all. He's got to have Count Ducula wings. <laughs> I'm sorry, wings? No, cape. Cape. I meant cape. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do the little wing right here. Now from the sash, bring this across all the way to where you want your lollipop to come out of. So right here is where I know I want my lollipop to pop out of. So we're going to add a little line, kind of like a little barrier, so I know where my feathers are going to stop. And add two little lines, like a number 11 right here. And then I'll continue on and do the inside of the feather. So we're going to have two little feathers wrapped around holding this lollipop. So from about right here, bring this around and make a little moon shape. All right, same thing over here. We're gonna bring down one more feather. And this one is gonna go all the way around and connect to the backside right over here. So bring this all the way around and connect it to where that line is for the upper wing, following that invis invisible, <laughs> invisible path right behind the lollipop. And then you can do a little um, lollipop circle right on the top. Now, if you don't want this to be a lollipop, you can make this into like a staff or a wand or something magical. It could be anything you want. Remember, I always encourage you guys to get creative with your drawings. Create something that may not look exactly like this. Get your creative juices flowing. Let's see what your style is. You don't like to do these kind of eyes? Do a different set of eyes. You want a different type of candy? Put maybe a chocolate bar on here. I don't know. Anything you want. Your drawing, your creation. <laughs> so let's come down and now make the rest of this lollipop so bring down two more lines following this little invisible path right here and again right here and close it out on the bottom and there you go now we're going to close out the bottom of the wing bring this little curve all the way up to where your lollipop is 
and then a very slight one right here just to give the illusion that there's a tiny little bit behind it. And that is how easy a little duck wing holding a lollipop is. And you can design anything you want on this lollipop. I did give it some little swirls, like one of those peppermint candy swirls, like that. So it's up to you. You guys can do it however you like. Now, before, before we can do the next wing, we have to do the cape. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. I can't talk today. Wow. Let's do the cape flapping down here, right? So right here from our little sash, we're going to curve this downwards into a little triangle point at the end right here. And then curve it all the way in. We want to give it a little bit of a wave to it. We don't want a perfectly straight line. You know, again, it's fabric. We don't want it to look exactly like it's starched, you know, and completely ironed out. We want it to be a little messy. But we also want to make it look like it's folding inwards a little bit. So to do that, we're going to come in here from this little corner, come out to the right, just a little higher than your bottom line. And then we're going to curve it upwards. It's a little wavy curve. Bloop. And there you go. It looks like it's bending inwards. And again, when you color this and add shadows and highlights, the inner part of your cape is going to have a lot darker color than the outside. So it's going to show that this side is curving more in a lot more when you have color. Let's do another little piece over here. The arm is sticking up this time, so we don't have this long piece here. We're only going to have it popping up from behind it. So right here, bring it down to the foot right here. Follow your invisible path and go down to the floor and flare it out to the right. Same process as we did over here. Bring it across. Not a perfect line. And then we want to have that little curve. So bring it up and wave it around. There you go. Look how awesome this looks. I love this little duck. Super cute. Let's do the wing that's inside the cape. So we're tucking it in. So we're only going to see two little feathers. So I'm going to start the little feather right here, like a little happy face curve. We're making believe that that tiny point is already inside the cape. And we're going to come out with one tiny wing right here, or tiny triangle right in the back. So there you go. His little wing is hiding underneath his cape. Last but not least, we're going to have that big, tall collar of the cape that Dracula usually has. So to do this, we're going to do a couple of lines offsetting here. So what we want to do is from our sash, bring this line curving upwards. Bloop. Same thing over here. Make a second one going up like that. And then we're going to curve in an angle going upwards to the right. Now. A lot of people would just think, okay, let's close it out from this corner right here. No, 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 no. We're actually going to bring our line down a little bit and curve it in right here. And this, my friend, gives you the illusion of the cape actually bending downward. So it gives the illusion of it going around the backside. Remember, when you draw something, everything that is closer to you is usually going to be a lot bigger. Anything that is towards the back of the character or away is going to be smaller. So we want to make sure this cape comes out a little smaller or lower in the back. That gives it that nice wraparound illusion. So bring this up. Two little border lines like this close it out on top and same thing kind of go just a little bit down and do your line to the back there you go look how amazing this vampire duck came out let me took a let me took let me took let me take a look at anything let's see if i'm missing anything no no yes no no we are officially done look at that you guys should be proud of yourselves if you did this i would love to see it so be sure to post it on social media using hashtag drawfully fun i want to see your art i want to see your creativity and of course give this video a big thumbs up if you liked what we did here today guys if you like what we're doing on this channel it really helps the algorithm so please 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 hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel now are you guys ready Let's see the completed version. Let's do our countdown in three, two, one. The completed version. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Guys, I had so much fun with you all today. I hope you had a blast doing your little spooky vampire duck. I can't wait to see what we're going to do next. I have a lot of things planned. Also, let me know if you want to see those digital drawing tutorials on Clip Studio Paint. I would love to show you how to do things. You can do it on Procreate as well. You can also do it on Krita. If you have Krita, it's free. <laughs> Lots of digital art options that you can use. You don't have to use Clip Studio Paint if you don't want to. All right, guys, you know what I'm going to say next, right? Until the next time, happy creating.